Amen. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pastures. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endure through all generations. Welcome again to another Level Ministries on this Miracle Sunday. Amen. We thank you for tuning in wherever you are. If you are at home in your car or you might even be at work, we thank you and we don't take it lightly that you have joined in. Now let's get into the furtherance of our service. I am a friend of God.
sake, I will not remain silent. For Jerusalem's sake, I will not rest until its righteousness shines like the dawn and its salvation burns brightly like a torch. The nations will see your righteousness. All kings will see your glory. You will be given a new name that the Lord will announce. Then you will be a beautiful crown in the land of the Lord, a royal crown in the hand of your God. You will no longer be called deserted, and your land will no longer be called destroyed. But you will be named my delight, and your land will be named married. The Lord is delighted with you, and your land will be married. As a young man marries a woman, so your sons will marry you. As a bridegroom rejoices over his bride, so your God will rejoice over you. Progress and process, God will move you. 
On the third day, there was a wedding at Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there, and both Jesus and his disciples were invited to the wedding. When the wine was all gone, the mother of Jesus said to him, they have no more wine. Jesus said to her, woman, what is that to you and to me? My time has not yet come. His mother said to the servant, whatever he says to you, do it. Now there were six stone water pots set there for the Jewish custom of purification, containing 20 or 30 gallons each. Jesus said to the servants, fill the water pots with water. So they filled them up to the brim. Then he said to them, draw some out now and take it to the head waiter. So they took it to him. And when the head waiter tasted the water, which had turned into wine, not knowing where it came from, he called the bridegroom and said to him, everyone else serves his best wine first. And when people have drunk freely, then he serves that which is not so good. But you have kept back the good wine until now. This, the first of his signs, Jesus did in Cana of Galilee and revealed his glory. And his disciples believed they adhered to, trusted in, and relied on him. Amen. Today's message is coming from John chapter 2, verse 1 through 11. But I want to focus on verse number 5, where it says, His mother said to the servants, Whatever he says to you, do it. If we were going to give this message a title on today, it would be called, Listen and Obey. Listen, your job is to listen to God and what he has called for you to do. Amen. Everybody does not have the same assignment. Amen. All of us have different assignments, but the goal is the same, that all people will turn from their wicked ways and come unto Christ and be saved. Amen. So we understand that you must listen and obey the voice of God for whatever your assignment might be. Amen. Let's go over to Genesis chapter 12 and verse 1 through 3. Amen. Because God may be calling you to go somewhere that might be uncomfortable for you. Amen. The Bible says that we must be ready at all times. He said, be instant in season and out of season. But you have to be ready to go wherever God tells you to go when it is your time and you've heard him say what it is that you need to do. Let's go to Genesis 12, 1 through 3, and it reads, Now the Lord has said unto Abraham, Get thee out of your country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that I will show you. Yes, God will sometimes get you to go and be and do things that are uncomfortable to you. Amen. God is telling Abraham, get thee out of your country. God will tell you sometimes you might have to leave where you are. Amen. In order for somebody else to be blessed with what God wants them to be blessed with, which is the word of God. Amen. And some people need to be taught. Amen. The things of God. Some people don't know what God 
uh, is calling them to do in ministry. Amen. But you are the one that God has put down on the inside of you, a message for those people that are lost. Amen. He told Abraham, get thee out of your country. Get away from your family. Amen. Sometimes it be it might be your family that's hindering you from doing what the word of God has told you to do or what you've heard God speaking to your spirit. Amen. That's why you can't tell everybody what God has called you to do. Amen. Because everybody's not going to be in your corner. Amen. Some people might be confused about what you're saying and because we love to listen to other people. They may stop you from doing what God told you to do. Amen. He said, and I will show thee and I will make thee a great nation. I will bless thee and make thy name great and thou shalt be a blessing. Amen. God said, I'm going to make your name great. Stop trying to make your own name great. Amen. Stop trying to pass your card out and tell people how good you can preach or how good you can sing. Amen. God will allow the people of God to see your spirit. Amen. And they will know that you have been sent by God to say and do things that have he has unction you to say under the Holy Ghost. Amen. The spirit will give you utterance what to do. He said, I'll make your name great. God will make your name great among nations. Amen. He said, and I will bless thee and make thy name great and thou shalt be a blessing. Not only will he make your name great, but he will cause you to be the blessing to your community. Amen. To your family. Amen. To your church. Amen. But you must let God make your name great. Stop boasting about the things that you can do or your gifts. Amen. That all has nothing to do with it because if it were not for God, you wouldn't have those gifts. Amen. But we are to use our gifts for the glory of God. Amen. If you have the gift of prayer, use that gift of prayer to pray for people. Some of y'all have gifts and I don't understand why you don't use your gift. You can walk into a room and see that people are sick and you won't even pray. But God has ordained for you to pray for people that are sick. Amen. That you, amen. Some people have the gift of, of, uh, laying on of hands. Amen. That the sick may recover. Amen. Why don't you want to work in that gift? Amen. Do what God has unctioned in your spirit to do. Amen. God has ordained for you to do it. Amen. As he told him, he said, and I will bless them that bless thee and curse him that curses thee. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Amen. There's the cause in your contract. Stop worrying about what people are trying to do against you or what they're going to say. Amen. God said, I'm going to bless those people that bless you and curse those that will curse you. You don't have to fight the battle yourself. Amen. All you got to do is fall in line with what God has ordained for you to do. Amen. He said, if they curse you, he said, I will curse them. Amen. Amen. If they bless your ministry, God is going to bless them. That's why when God has allowed somebody to speak into your life, you can give them a gift. Amen. And God will bless the ministry. And not only that, it will bless you. Amen. Let's go over to Jeremiah. Amen. Because Jeremiah is the uh, is a real good story about how when God tells you to do something, the enemy will cause you to have fear. Amen. God does not want us to have fear. He said, I didn't give you a spirit of fear. He said, I gave you a, a sound mind and gave you power. Amen. So we have to understand and work in the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Jeremiah chapter one, verse one says, the word of, of Jeremiah, the son of Hilkah, the priest that were in Anatop in the land of Benjamin. To whom the word of the Lord came in the days of Josiah, the son of Ammon, and the king of Judah in the thirteenth year of his reign. And it also came in the days of Jochaim, the son of Jechaiah, king of Judah, unto the end of the eleventh year of Zedekiah, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, unto the carrying away of Judah, excuse me, Jerusalem captive in the fifth month. Then the word came unto me saying, listen, this is what God is saying, amen, to Jeremiah. He said, before I formed you in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee and ordained thee a prophet unto the nation. Listen, when God has ordained it from the womb, amen, there's nothing the enemy can do to stop you from doing the work and the will of God, amen. Then Jeremiah said, then I, Lord, 
God, behold, I cannot speak for I am a child. Listen, stop making excuses why you can't obey the spirit of God. Listen, all you got to do is follow God's path. He will go before you and make the crooked places straight. Stop being afraid of people because your gift may help them. The Bible says your gift will make room for you and set you before great men. Amen. Do what God has told you to do and don't make excuses. But the Lord said to me, say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee. And whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Whatever God has put down in your spirit to speak, say it. Don't let people scare you out of telling them the truth because the truth will set them free and make them free. Amen. And it also will free you. Anytime God has called for you to do something, God will not let you alone until you obey his voice. Amen. And when you obey the voice of God and you've done what God has told you to do, amen, it gives you a freeness in your spirit to know that you have obeyed. He said, be not afraid of their faces for I am there and with thee to deliver thee, said the Lord. Let God go with you. Amen. All you got to do, prayer, pray and without ceasing, keep the spirit of God with you. Always keep the anointing of God with you. Walk where he tells you to walk. Go where he tells you to go. Say what he tells you to say. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. Listen, stop saying the stuff that you feel in your spirit from the flesh and walk in the word of God. Amen. God will give you what to say. Amen. He will give you those scriptures. He'll bring those scriptures back to your remembrance. Amen. He says, see, I have set this day over nations, over the kingdoms to root out, to pull down and destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. Yes, God is going to use you. The one that they said that was never going to be anything. The one that they said, oh, he don't have an anointing. Oh, she doesn't have an anointing. God can use anybody he wants to use. Amen. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me saying, Jeremiah, what seest thou? And I said, I see a rod of an almond tree. Then said the Lord unto me, thou hast well seen, for I have hastened my word to perform it. Amen. The prophets have a way of being able to speak those things that be not as though they were. Amen. And you got to have enough faith to know when you pray for folks that God is going to heal them. Amen. The Bible says, if you stay connected to the true vine. You can ask him for what you will, and he will give it unto you. If you need a healing, God will give you a healing. But you got to believe that he's going to do it. Stop worrying about people fighting against you. You have been called. All you got to do is listen and obey. Let's skip down to verse 17, and we're almost done. It says, Thou for, therefore... Gird up thy loins and arise and speak unto them all that I command thee. Be not dismayed at their faces, lest I confound you before them. For behold, this is what God says to you. I have made thee th this day a defense city, an iron pillar, a brazen wall against the whole land, against the kings of Judah, against the princes thereof, against the priests thereof, and against the people of the land. Listen. And they shall fight against you. This is number 19. And they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee, said the Lord to deliver. Whatever God tells you to do, even if people fight against you, still do what God has told you to do because he will fight the battle for you. Amen. Perhaps that is you and God has called you to do a work. I need you to listen and obey because people's lives depend on you obeying the spirit of God. Amen. Just like another level would not be here if God didn't anoint the man of God to open up this church and it has helped many. Amen. So you have to understand whatever God has called you to do. People are going to fight against you. They're going to say, why did God call him? But you should not be concerned about any of that. Because if God calls you, he's approved you and he's equipped you to do exactly what he is calling you to do in this time. Amen. So I'm speaking to those that feel like they are not worthy 
or people have talked about you so bad, but you know that you have an anointing. I'm going to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we speak to your people that you have called and put down on the inside of them a ministry, God. Lord, no matter what people have said, give them the courage to step out on your word and do and obey what you've said, God. Allow them to open up their mouths and you speak through them, God. Go before them and make every crooked place straight. Lord, even that man or that woman that you have called to open up a church, Lord, prepare the way, open up the windows of heaven and pour them out that blessing so they can get the building. Lord, but ordain it to be so that people listen, open up their ears and their hearts and minds so they might hear your voice clearly. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Listen, listen and obey the voice of God. The Bible says, my sheep know my voice and a stranger they will not follow. You must listen and adhere to the voice of God. In Jesus' name, we love you and God bless. Amen. May the Lord bless and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Blessings to you and thank you for joining.